Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals. Welcome back to my channel and to a memory plan with me for the week of the 22nd of August of 2022. And I have an exciting announcement. So I am now part of the affiliate team for Scribble Prince Co who made this kit. This is the June Mystery 2022 Mystery. Um, I have already used it in my pre-planner. As you can see, there are bits missing because I do use the planner across two, uh, use a kit across two spreads. That's just how I live my life. <laughs> I also have cut up bits of this practicing and playing with my new um, blades so there's that. <laughs> so that's the kit. I also have stickers pulled out here in my Planner Vase reusable sticker album. I PR for Planner Vase so you can get a discount by using Tilly 10 there. So now at both Tilly 10 and Planner Vase you can use Tilly 10 to save 10%. I then have this twinkle-ish from my shop. So I've just realised and literally just realised that I have two of the first page which is the um, overlay page um, and I don't have the second page which is the washi overlay page. Um, I have this is the functional page in both white matte and in the um, yellow that it came in. I won't be using that because the yellow doesn't match this kit and the script I have in both clear and on the yellow matte as well but um, again I'm using the clear and then I have the two bougie. I don't know whether I want to not use the washi page so we'll see how we get on and I probably will pull out the washi page eventually and um, but yeah so so the affiliate program um, from Scrum Prince Go started on the 1st of September and um, that's when I found out I was part of it which is really really cool honestly I was so so excited I can't actually quite believe I'm part of it like SPC is huge shop an incredible incredible shop and yeah I was absolutely shook when I got the email um I applied but I really didn't think I was going to get in um so it was a really really exciting when I found out I was in um then what else was I going to say uh it works slightly differently from the planner phase one it depends how much people use your codes as to how much like voucher you get back um which is how i'm going to differ it in my head so i'm going to say i'm affiliated with scrum prince co and i pr for planner and um, that is both what they call their programs as well and um, so that works really well for me um to keep like a clear difference in my head um but it is really really exciting so i'd really appreciate it if you do go and shop at scrum prince co if i um encourage you and you've seen something you like there um if you use my code tilly10 um okay so i've got the washi down and i I can't decide whether I want to try and um, whether I want to make some uh, overlay for it because my thing is essentially the reason I think I will or I'm like 90% sure I'm going to end up is because um, all my four boxes are going to be so Scroll Prince Co kits are glossy um, obviously um, well not obviously if you don't know that you don't know that but Scribble Prince Co kits are glossy and my overlays are matte overlays um, so it's going to be like completely different texture when they're over the four boxes so I'm quite tempted to make the overlays just so that I can um, so everything is in matte rather than half and half what is that? the sound of that are kegs ah just been bought a drink and I was like what <laughs> um, um so I think I probably will end up making myself the um washi page but I don't know um we'll see so they're the same I don't know why I've put those next to each other that was not smart uh, I'm struggling to spread out this deco today I don't know why I'm just I can't decide what to put where um and how to make it work pulled the string off the cherry sad bloops um, I think this banana split's going to have to move going in here um, mostly because I want to put this ice cream over here and then I need something else in that gap there's this ice cream scooper but that will also go nicely there um, I'm trying to fill up all the spaces without um, overcrowding is Tricky. Um, okay, we just got that gap there where this can go. Perfect. Now we just have this other big jar which I'm just gonna have to leave. Cute, I like that. 
um, so that's our washi in. So let's work on the sidebar. And I can't decide which box I want in the top corner. Um, I think I've got 10 full boxes, so I think it's those eight and these two. I really love this girl, so it might be her that goes in the top corner. I think so. I think that's what I want to do. So let's pop her in the top corner. And then I think I'm going to have two full boxes that are underneath underlays. So we'll work those out as well. Um, so I definitely want the double box. Um, I think probably the two that are going to end up underneath are these two. So I'm just going to pull those off and pop them to the sides so that I remember um, which two are going to be underneath underlays. Okay. So then let's make a star on um, underlays and stuff I have written on the back of a sheet but I don't remember which sheet um, how many full box overlays and stuff how many boxes I need for each day I wrote it on the back of one of the kit pages but we're there <laughs> cool this is my little cheat sheet um, so I um, where am I going to put my double box So um, there's a full box on every single day. Um, I'll probably just do, yeah, a zigzag pattern. So full box, full box, um, full box, full box, full box. Oh wait, it's pretty chunky. Full box, full box. And we'll put the double box in here. Good. That's that worked out. So let's just get started. Um, so I have the underlays from the Twinkle, which are in my Twinkle Dot Design. I love these so much. Um, and I just, yeah, I'm obsessed with these underlays. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, I really like the twinkle dot design and um, so yeah um in my life at the moment things are full steam ahead trying to prep for the pvc sale um basically because <laughs> it's a huge sale and i don't really know how to expect how many many orders to expect and things like that um so <laughs> I'm a bit like, yeah, don't know. <laughs> so, full boxes. I think we're probably going to pop the girl down here so she's nice and separated from the um, other fashion girl. And then I want that flat lay in the middle, so we'll go with um, this one here. And I was just double checking. Um, which which boxes need a day extender which days need a day extender so then we've got our headers and I'm going to use the ones that I've used um, for colour matching first um, just because that way I know what colour each day is because I'm colour blocking um, I pretty much always colour block nowadays um, I definitely much prefer spreads colour blocked. Um, I just, I don't know, it just makes me happy. So it's what I do. Um, and I really am obsessed with those gear. Oh my gosh, like this is Kinnish Jess art and uh, Jess is one of my favourite artists. Um, her and Darcy are probably my two favourite artists. Um, and just, yeah. Um, but I really love the way Andrea's put together the art as well. Um, like teal and pink is just such a fire combination of colours as well like if you haven't if this is your first video you're watching of mine teal is my favourite colour um <laughs> like by quite a long way um well no not that's not true teal purple and turquoise probably my favourite colours um and I also really love yellow um like I have a lot of favourite colours okay <laughs> that's what we're learning here isn't it um but the teal match with the pink like pink isn't one of my favorite colors I, it's actually probably my least favorite color and um, which feels weird saying as a planner person because i feel like everybody in the planning community is obsessed with uh, pink 
but it's just it's not my fave um and that's fine like it doesn't need to be my favorite color um so again these are both just going sorry directly on the page we've got that one there is that not straight something here is not straight i think it's actually the first underlay that's fine and i've got a bit of a hand here I think that's the best way forward. Then we need our go headers page. And I actually think I might have it screwed up because um so some kits come with not so so Gribble Crints Co kits come with seven of each glitter header colour, which is like makes a lot of sense because um then you've got um oh my god, why are words so hard? <laughs> um if you've got seven of each colour, you've got um, like one of each colour for each day. That's the phrase I'm trying to, to I'm struggling to get out. Um, but some people do eight of each colour glitter header because eight of a, um, eight lots of a glitter header is a full box size. So if you see like that's a header shorter than a glitter box um, or than a full box. So lots of people do eight glitter headers as well, so that it's like an even number. Okay, so it actually so happens that all of my deck centers are up here. So, um, da -da 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 -da. we're gonna use the hack of only using little one first um, for so Saturday and Sunday we're just going to use a little bit of a thing and Sunday we're going to use a full day extender and um, so what we're going to do is fold this in half so they're all going to fold upwards which is nice and easy I'm going to use the last full box from my full box page and then we just line this up with the top of the box preferably nice and straight there and then we put one of the boxes on the inside and I think probably oh my god I can't put it off <laughs> this one makes the most sense and then I'm just going to line that up with the bottom of the box there um, so that's a Wednesday's full box there and then Saturday is the same it's going to have a full box on the inside so we'll do exactly the same thing but with this one we're going to use the double box so just fold it in half pop the header down the box down and then the other box on the inside just carefully trying to line it up with the other one there so that's saturday but then for sunday because i'm just i'm gonna have um sticker on I'm gonna have, I need four boxes on Sunday, so I'm gonna fold this in half. So I want a full, I just need a bit more stability basically because there's not a box on the inside, if that makes sense. So that's there. Okay, that's all of our boxes in and day extenders done. Um, then we need a bougie again to come back to fill in the other days. I don't know why um, this top box I did the bougie after. Um, I think it's partly because I want to know how much is left. I like to have one um, bougie box left for my sidebar um, just because I like to have it underneath. I use a squared off box in my sidebar and um, if you're new to my channel you won't know that. Um, so um, so do I actually have enough? No, I'm one short, I think. One uh, bougie box short, because I, I could do with all four of these to be going in here, but they're not going to. Um, so what I'll probably do is on this box, I won't pop a bougie box down for the moment. And what I will do is if there's any, like if I use a half box, I'll cut up the bougie box or something like that. Um, so 
That is not at all straight. Oh god. What have I done? Let's go and turn my planner just to put this bougie box down. Because I was really struggling to do that straight. And this one we will work out a bit closer to the time because I want to save that one. But you have all the extra bits in my um, kits. So that's there. So we just need to do our last glitter header. Um, which, why, why am I struggling it today? Um, so that did not go down straight at all, did it? Well, no, it went down straight, just not in the right place. Um, that's better. Um, I need to do my... Yeah, so I'm only going to have a two three glitter headers for the sidebar and I think I need four so I may have to steal one from my pre-planned spread because I think I screwed up in my pre-planned spread using one of each colour um, because the colour that I use for Thursday I use more than three headers in my sidebar um, so I need more than six um, I think at least but we'll see in a second right okay so I'm just trying to work out how many header overlays I have. I've got 16. Let's do header overlays up next. Um, I don't know how well this sheet is cut. I pretty much only take oops from my own shop. Um, so sometimes things are not cut very well. Actually, they, they peeled up okay. I thought that was going to be the problem, but it is not. And because my headers are the same pattern as the um, bougie, I always think it looks a bit funny before the rest of the... Um, stickers are down at this point because of the like do you, know, do you know what I mean because it's just like the same pattern completely throughout but I think it looks really good in the end um and I'm loving this teal on the deal art oh, it just and then the teal on the pink this would be really cool with a mixed metal teal and pink and if you use the teal on the um pink days and the pink on the teal days that would look like absolute fire um <laughs> kind of wish i'd done that now but i'm too hard into this spread to make that work but yeah that would have been an incredible foil look and i actually this kit came with gold foil and um i think most people have paired it with gold foil and i think that's a really good shout but it's actually not what i did in either of my planners in my pre-planner um i actually used silver foil with this spread because i don't know teal and silver just go together like this in my opinion um <laughs> so i don't know i don't know whether that was the right decision i kind of i've seen people's spreads with the gold and i'm like oh. and i've also seen people's spreads with their planner hammer and lays and um, with the ice cream and lays and they look like fire as well um that looks really really good um which yeah um so that's all of those I don't think making myself washi page would be the worst thing in the world um because as you can see the rest of my spread is ending up like matte um but that's fine i suppose all the stickers will be glossy like on the day to day i don't know we'll see um i'm partly doing this because i need to know how many um header headers i've got left right because what I like to do is um, cut some of these headers into half cut headers for my sidebar. I just find that's the optimum way to use stuff up. Um, and to be fair, I don't necessarily need to. I could do, I could just use the stuff it comes with, but I don't know. This is, this is how I tend to do it. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to justify how I do things. It's, that's just how I do it. Okay, so we put that down and then we have our header and I do colour block my sidebar. I know lots of people don't, but I do. I just think for me, I prefer it. Um, in other people's spreads, I don't mind, um, but for my spreads, I just like it to be colour blocked. Um, so then I need a little strip of washi, which is this colour. And then my Monday through Sunday box. So the Monday through Sunday box and stuff and this all has um gold foil like the faux glitter is all gold in it which is why i think most people 
did stick with gold um, but I just I couldn't resist this teal foil with it it just it worked too perfectly okay so then I need another glitter header um, there and then this is where I pull in the last bougie box I probably don't need the full full bougie box so I can possibly cut a bit of it off in a minute but I need it for now um, so I pop in a squared off box next here and then glitter header again and that's actually this glitter header is where I can cut off this bougie box and save the rest of it if I want to I might just stick with it I just I can't be bothered <laughs> I've got plenty of extra bits saved um, and then we have my three um, da -da -da -da, currently stickers so this week I have watching no, I cut that very wonky so I'm not really sure that's enough gonna be enough gap there but it's fine and my last one and this is I am correct I did need my last header in the pink so I'm gonna have to steal that from my pre-planned spread in a second and uh, so then this goes in oh my god why can I not put this down straight there we go. and then we have our last currently box which this week is loving and then Okay, my slight problem is it has a glitter header overlay on it so i'm gonna need heavy amounts of undo here <sighs> which isn't my favorite thing in the world so to get it off the page is going to be dead easy i just need to soak some undo through the page but that that bit's fine and um, it's the getting it off the header overlay that's going to be tricky so once I've got it started, I'm literally just going to soak undo. And I want the whole thing to be like covered in undo, essentially. Till we get the header off. Okay. And then this header goes down at the bottom. And um, so we need my last uh, half cut header. Where's it gone? Yeah. Which goes in just in this gap. So as you can see, it's just so much easier to have that one bougie box off at the sidebar. Then our last glitter header goes in there. And we'll replace that glitter header in my pre-planned spread with the dark pink. Because apparently I didn't use the dark pink. So yeah, um the headers I use in this planner should be the ones that aren't the sidebar colour in my memory spread but I clearly just screwed that up um, so there we go beautiful just needed a bit of heavy undo okay then I am um, actually kept this ice cream list and there was still that jar as well wasn't there so I'm actually going to pop the ice cream list in there and we'll grab the jar as well and except I don't have an August script I don't want to do that because I'd rather just leave that August 2022 up there but I'm sad I didn't use this ice cream list but oh well so that is the base done other than overlays we need to finish off our header overlays first so I just need four for my sidebar um, which is fine yeah I just I need seven of whatever colour is my Thursday colour if I'm doing all five if I'm just doing a header at the top because I don't always do the three header thing so and then um, oh I don't have a best bits header because I don't have that washi sheet um that's a situation um I don't have one in black either oh well so we'll leave that for now I think let's just cut off this deco at the top and go from there um, so uh, if there are any big chunks I might try and 
I don't think this counts as big enough, does it? No, probably not. Like bigger than that. So like this cream top. I'm gonna try and pop above the August there just to make that a bit prettier. Um, it's not gonna be necessarily fill it up, but I just think it'll look good. Oops, cut my page lower there. And pause before this one because I think that will be big enough to go in. Just trying to do it straight. Um, it would be way easier just to cut this off and not need to use it, but I don't play that game. I definitely cut my page about three places there. Excellent. It's fine. It's all good. Um, so we've got a bit deco there. So I'd just like something to go in that nice gap. This side I think I can be a bit more like just to chill about. I reckon if we just save this piece here to go in that gap. There we go. That'll do nicely. Maybe one more maybe the top of this to go in here there we go i like that then we can just cut off the rest of this so you can admire the memory spread that i did on my own because i so i film every other memory spread um, so you see me use every kit I use because I use the same kit over the two planners um, I don't know why I'm explaining things like unless you're new to my channel um, but I just feel like I never explain these things so new people might be a bit confused as how I do things um, so that is now the space done other than um, overlays so let's get to some overlays um, and I am really feeling this like all over Twinkle over these. Um, obviously, I do have two, so it's nice and easy to make a double box. Normally, on the wash page, there are corners, so if you don't have that, um, I'll try and finish up this sheet first. Um, I think the girl in the sidebar is going to get a corners around it, like the framing, basically. There. Uh, I think the fuller sorry i'm just looking at my inside boxes fuller all over can go over the ice cream here cute i like that um da, 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 da. the up the side will work well over this girl because this side of the box is a bit emptier We will top and bottom this box um, again because it's just a bit emptier at the top and bottom and I put that down really really wonky but it kind of is okay um, so I think the only we've only got these three bo four boxes left um, I think let's frame this Uh, two corners on this one mm. we're gonna sprinkle from the top which is this over here so that sheet's done as well but actually we're gonna sprinkle from the bottom over that box and then we're going to use the top and bottom which is this one here over this here that seems to fold very wonky I think it'll probably be okay there okay and that is the base of our spread beautifully foiled I'm obsessed okay so let's zoom in and get started on the day by day because it feels like this base has taken me for absolute ever and I don't really know why. 
Okay, Monday, the first thing I'm gonna mark in is doing my morning routine. I think I'm just gonna use a little thing for that. Um, I do have morning routine scripts. What I didn't do is count how many things I needed to fit in. So it's four on each half, that's fine. Um, next, I'm gonna mark in having a splitting headache. I've got a migraine sticker because that's the script I had, but um, it was just a splitting headache. Um, I think there's a good chance I'm gonna cut off the bottom of that sticker with another sticker underneath it. So I'm just gonna pop it there for now. Um, then I did my analytics. So I looked through sort of my YouTube analytics, how things were going. And then I went to work. I like to mark work in the same way every single day. And I normally use a flag, but I'm not really feeling a flag today. Maybe I'll just do it different ways every day. I think that might be the way forward. Actually, maybe I'll just use a fancy label every day for work. So let's move that down to be there. And then we'll use a patterned little thing to mark in the analytics instead. And I think that's fine. Yeah, cool. So for the analytics, I've just got a dyno and an analytics script. So I actually had two black scripts there in a row. Oh well, um, the black scripts are great for going on to the bougie um, because they're just easier to read on top of the foil. So that's there. Okay, so that's the first half. And then I'm gonna mark in that it was actually a much better day. I'd had a rough night day the day before at work. Um, so I was a bit, feeling a bit meh. Um, but that day was a much better day. Then I'm gonna mark in taking um, photos, which is like my VA prep. Um, then I'll mark in tidying using a little thing. And then I pulled stickers, which let's see if a quarter box will fit in that space. It will, but I might just have to pull things. Are there other, other quarter boxes? Slightly smaller, no, that's the smallest quarter box, that's fine. Um, what we'll do is just move this up ever so slightly to create a tiny bit more gap there. That's happier. So, um, so I've just got the, for having a better day at work, I work as a doctor, again, for those of you that don't know, and that is my day job. I will see if <laughs> do YouTube and run Tilly Journals the rest of the time. Um, I've then got a little computer uh, phone sticker for taking photos because I do it on my phone. A um, little washing because a lot of the tidying I did, I've got a tidy script, a lot of the tidying I did was um, folding laundry. Um, and then I've got a pull stickers script as well down there. Um, my The take photos script I've pulled out is one of the tall ones, um, but I have longer ones as well. So I'd rather use a longer one in that gap. So I'm just gonna leave it for the moment. I say it and immediately go and get the correct sticker. So yeah, that's just a take photos script. Okay, on to Tuesday, which is the bright pink. I've got again, four things to mark each day. I think I'm actually gonna pop um, morning routine on a little layering functional. Just, I like to change up how I do it every day because it's quite often the first thing I mark in a day. So I just, it makes it a bit, a bit more interesting if I try and change it up every day. Then I got, wrote um, an email to some people at work, um, which started off a very rough day. Um, the reply to this email was just, sent me on a complete and utter spiral about life, the universe and medicine. <laughs> oh well. Uh, and then I'm using fancy label to mark work. So we'll use a patterned one on this day. And then um, essentially the reply to that email was stupid. Um, and it was just back and forth pretty much the rest of the day. Um, of stupid emails, right. So this will actually fit, but I just need to do some better spacing because morning routine just doesn't quite need as much space as it's got at the top of the day. It's only really deserving of a little thing. 
um, because it's like an hour of time. That's better. So work I mark in the same way all week which is using these dinos and a work script um, from the foil bundle and then for not really for the like train of emails that put me in a rubbish mood was this because of that whole situation I was in a bit of a state this day I like I was just not in a good way I wasn't myself honestly I cried a lot that day and um, it was a really rough day so I've just got um in my head there then I'm marking in that I just felt like quitting my job honestly and leaving medicine and not being a doctor anymore because of a lot of the behind the scenes politics of being a junior doctor within the UK um putting that there and then I thought about going less than full time um, for work um, I would like another fancy label but I don't want to use all of my fancy labels <laughs> on this day and not have any on the other day um, but I'm just gonna have to risk make that risk um, I'm just gonna move this up a tiny tiny bit I know that was like a millimetre, but it was worth it in me to me. Uh, let's pop that on there. And then we'll use a layering functional. Um, what I'm actually going to do is steal this circle because the icon I'm going to put on that is foiled and this isn't foiled, obviously. So I can use a foiled functional underneath that a bit more easily. So I'm going to switch it for a um hexagon foiled hexagon and then i'm going to use the circle here with a foiled icon so it's like both are like foil and layering functional i don't know whether that makes any sense to anybody but me but it does to me um am i just ripping stickers today this is a planning time script that apparently i just ripped into good from planner face and that seems wonky but it'll do okay wednesday we have three boxes so we've got four three three um and we are the lighter tealy color so we're going to kick off with marking in my morning routine oh this was my only day off work this week i think or a day off work this week maybe my only day off work Hard to know, but I clearly wasn't at work this day. Uh, then I did a load of shop admin. So that can go in a quarter box. And I worked on orders, which I'm going to use um, a squared off box, but I may have to cut down. Or oh, actually, will the flag fit? I think the flag will fit. Um, so it's a black script so i want the icon over the there okay so for morning routine we're just marking in exactly the same way as we have every day so far as i said it can get a bit repetitive at marking morning routine in the same way every day which is why i sometimes like to use a layering functional and sometimes i like to um do that and then i did some shop admin which was actually admin for pvc i believe then i worked on orders um just got an orders script there that is really wonky wow um that's an order script from my shop um then i um folded some laundry i worked on packing orders um I was having a very productive day. And then we binged watched some TV. I'm a little bit worried because I have run, practically run out of little things on this day. I literally have one left, <laughs> two, one left in each like one patterned one not patterned and we have a whole other day to do in that and is sunday got a day extender 
I think Sunday might have a day extender. Yes, yes it does. Ah oh, well. Um, I've just put the laundry script where the pack order script's meant to go. Good. No, don't rip. Don't rip. God damn it. Why are, is this plan with me it's such a hot mess? I feel like the last plan with me I filmed was a bit of a hot mess as well. I don't love that, but I can't, I don't really dare risk peeling it up again. Let's put the pack order script in the right place at least. Um, then for having an awesome day, I've just got the happy unicorn and the awesome day script from the foil bundle. And then for watching TV, I've got this quite big squidge sticker, which I think I'm going to trim. I'm just going to cut off half of, because that's the only bit I need. Can I have a look at the stickers? Okay. Not easily. <laughs> Not easily right now. And a binge watch script. And um, that works. Um, hang on. I've used dark teal here. That's why I had so little left. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Um, oh, God, what have I done? So the planner face sticker will come off easily because it's removable mat. Um, let's just work out what we've done here. Um, this, again, this is a removable mat sticker, so it will come off quite easily. Um, and actually there is a hexagon in the light teal as well. So that bit is really easy to replace. <sighs> the laundry sticker, I've got absolutely no idea. I'm going to have to I'm going to try peeling it really carefully and it might be okay because I've already had to peel it up once. Yes, it was. What a relief. Um, maybe this time I can try and put it down straight. Um, use my tweezers. Try and get that out. No. That is so much better. Um, right, this is where we're going to run into real problems. And I think I might just have to chuck a shed load of on undo on these, to be honest with you. Um, so this is coming up not too badly. Okay, that, that strip was okay. It's just the um, fancy label with awesome day on. So I'm going to chuck a load of undo on it. forgotten about my um foiled functionals um i quite like to pull one into each day so whilst we're ripping everything up let's try making a rubbish event look better by using a foiled functional obviously this is definitely oops from my shop this is a very uneven and i don't love it but it's fine um and then stickers I reckon I can try and get that up again throw a shed load of undo down to try and get the stickers off neatly And Scrubberance Co quarter boxes are about the size of my um, third boxes, so we'll go with that. There. Okay, now I just have a load of stickers off to the side. Right, um, so Awesome Day was on a fancy label. And let's actually use the right colour here. And then Binge Watch can go on a little thing. I still don't have loads of 
teal little things, the light teal little things left. Actually, I've got work label left in the teal. And because of how like intense that binge watch sticker is, that will work absolutely fine. So me and you know it's, anybody who watches this video knows it's a work label, but most people that just look at the spread will not, which is good. Um, and then for the awesome productive day, we'll just pop these back in. Okay, so now the reason I realized this was because I was like, mm, I kind of want to use my square box. And then I was like, mm, but there's only one light teal one. But actually this is the pan for that. So we're going to use that. Although it is quite pink, it is the pattern for this colour, so it's fine. Um, so that's going to be for snuggle time at the bottom of the day. Um, then I wanted to mark in that we had popcorn and chocolate. Um, I, I don't have many little things left in this colour either. Mm, a little bit worried about Sunday, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. And that's the wrong way around. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to mark in is, um, oh actually, rather than this box, I can use my squared off box in a foil, because as I said I'm trying to use one foiled box a day, one foiled, that can go in there, and that gives us a little bit more space, and hopefully a fancy label will fit in at the top. And we'll use a patent fancy label. There. Perfect. So that's for watching Never Have I Ever. No, for having popcorn and chocolate. For memory planning, I've just got a little planner sticker and a memory plan script from the foil bundle. And then for cuddles, I have this couple sticker and a snuggle time script from the bundle. And that is the first half of the week. That was a challenge. But we got there, so let me turn over and we'll look at the second half. So Thursday will be nice and easy because it is our light pink day and we will only have um, one thing, one, we only have one day to make work. So we're starting off with marking morning routine and my work in the same way as I have every single day. Um, then I'm just going to mark in something that happened at work which was I was talking to a patient's wife about him um, and then I thought about bringing new fonts to my shop which I'm about 70% sure I am going to do um, and I played with what the new fonts are going to be so there we go that is box one and box two should be easier because I only have three things to fit in it so yeah I only needed seven boxes <laughs> on Thursday so it's a really easy day to plan. Um, there. I oh, know I've got four things to mark down there as well. I oh, know that was for PBC planning, sorry. Um, so to mark in that I was considering having new fonts in the shop, I'm going to use a fancy label. Then I um, was messaging people and organising my swaps for PBC. Just put on a little thing. Then we watched um, Never Have I Ever, which is the program, I was going to say the program we're watching now, but it's not, we finished it, um, which was a bit of a shock to the system. It finished a lot sooner than I expected. Um, so that's for Never Have I Ever. And then did some planning. And I think I'm going to use the little thing for that. So so that we've got one non box thing on this day it's just like i should have probably not put morning routine on a box but it's too late for that now and i see be able to redo all of that okay so there we go on to friday which is our dark teal and um, we are going to start off with morning routine and we are going to put in the hexagon for that um again just mix things up a bit and then we're going to mark in work using a fancy label. Um, I'm going to be a bit worried about the fancy labels here. Then I did a load of designing. Um, let's use the non-patterned little thing. 
I know I still have quite a lot of little things left we're probably absolutely fine um, and then I cooked our dinner which was a gusto meal um, which I think I'm just going to put completely free floating um, and I'm going to use this little fox chef my gusto meal script is a bit big um, but that's fine we will squidge it in the space it'll be re like that <laughs> it's fine <laughs> I'm not in love with that but it's fine um, it's not my favourite thing but it is fine um, so we've got designing it in there work as usual oh my god no 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 don't you dare better and morning routine yeah cool i actually can move this box up the design box up to make this fit a lot better and then there'll be a bit more space for the gusto meal script it won't look as silly that's better isn't it nearly nearly is better that's much better good okay then i pulled stickers and then me and so did some tv watching um, which we're going to use this little flag for then i did some memory playing and i completely and i mean completely zoned out um, i didn't really know how to mark that in so i'm just going to use a little thing for it and i am also going to use a little i don't know all this washi strip fit no but i might just trim this washi fit strip to fit oh my god no I'm actually going to trim the one in the solid colour rather than the non-solid colour. Um, I don't quite know how much I need to trim off. But I reckon probably about that much. So we'll just trim. Oh my god, I just cut my, knife, my ruler. I think it's... Oh well. It was going to get scratched up eventually. It's just the first time I've cut it. That's sad. That was a pretty good guess. Good work, Ty. Mm. So that is for memory planning. There for watching TV. I've just got a couple sticker, which is joy planning. It's practically custom um, because there's so many options. And for pulling the stickers, probably should have used something free floating in that box, but I didn't, and it's too late now. And then for completely zoning out. I've got this little munchkin staring out the window which I think I'm going to trim like that and that will be okay I don't love it but it's fine okay so then on to Saturday which is our dark pink I'm trying not to screw this up again so we'll start off with a little thing for my morning routine I don't know why I've shoved some stickers over here it's just confusing me um then I did how much hang on how many things are so two fours and a three um then I filmed a tiny bit of a video not a tiny bit of a video but I filmed a bit of a video um there's this box which can go up there then we went to the molten food festival um, which was incredible. I'm going to use a squared off box for that. Fabulous. Um, so for the Molten Food Festival, I just have this little knife and fork. Probably could have done with a bigger sticker given how big the box is that I'm marking it in, but that's what I pulled out. So it's what we're sticking with. So I've got film up there and morning routine up at the top. Beautiful. Okay. Then. That's under the day extender sorted. Oh my god, I've forgotten how wonky I made that underlay. Um, that full box overlay. I need to trim that in a minute. I don't know whether you can see that, like, there's the underneath of the underlay here. Anyhow, um, then had um, 
a load of family time, mostly at the food festival. Um, then I played and organised my stickers, actually filmed organising my stickers. That was my sticker reorganisation video, which came out last Friday. Is this only last week? Yeah, it was. Um, and then in the gap, we're going to... And then this is me zoning out after that. Um, I just I think I'd been focused for so long um, on reorganising my stickers, I just completely zoned out afterwards. So I've got that envelope there for playing with stickers slash reorganising my stickers. Um, for family time, I've just got this little Papershire family and a family time script. And then for zoning out, I've just got this shrug because it's like, what just happened? Okay, then I did some foiling. Um, which I'm just gonna use this little sticker here for, for foiling. And then I cooked my dinner. Worked on our budget. And then I got completely and utterly stressed out about a situation. Um, I'm not gonna go into it, but it was a situation. Um, it wasn't ideal, it is what it is. It's happened, it's kind of sorted, it's fine. It's not really sorted and it may come back to bite me in the ass, but it's as sorted as best I can at the moment. Sorry for being a bit vague there. Um, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, so for stressed out, I've just got that. Um, I remember what I was stressed out about. I'm not gonna write it in, I don't think, but it was a specific event. Um, I probably won't remember. It's in my memory notes, but who knows? I don't even know whether I'm gonna keep my memory notes. Oh, I didn't use a foiled box on this day. Um, oh well. I want to cut this up, but um, my problem is I'm going to cut off the chopping board, which is how you can tell she's cooking. But oh well. It's fine. There's going to be a cook script next to it. It's not like it's the end of the world. I just didn't use a foil box that day. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, on to Sunday. One, two. It's two fours and two threes is what we got here. So, my problem is I have two little things left and I actually want to use them both in the first section. That's not good, is it? But what we do have is we have this three heart checklist which we can ch chop up. We have already chopped up. <laughs> so, I'm going to use one of those first for the morning routine. They're a little bit chunkier than the normal little things, but that's fine. Um, then I'm going to uh, jump down to the bottom, put that in there for everything being too loud. I'm going to put in a fancy label for cutting stickers. And then a foil functional in the middle mark that I was having a struggle bus day which is why noise was too much so I'm going to just cut some meh off this girl oh my god I'm completely off camera sorry that is not useful to you so I'm going to cut that meh off that girl so she goes in there and that's my rough day script and for cutting stickers I've just got a silhouette from Fox and Cactus my morning routine is going to go up here the reason I went with that being on the slightly chunkier than little thing thing was because the sticker that's going on the actual little thing here um, is clear and therefore won't show very well. Okay, then we work into our box that isn't fully foiled. So we're going to attempt to put this down straight and in a place that is useful, not over where it folds. Okay, so the first thing I want to mark in is pulling stickers. 
And my problem is, maybe I'll just layer, sod it, I'm just doing that. I'm just gonna layer these things in. And there's gonna be some lines in this, but it's fine. Um, I think. I could try and be cleverer about it, but I can't be bothered. So I'm just gonna do that. Mostly because the first thing I want to mug in is pulling stickers and I actually want to use a layering functional for that. Um, I think this hexagon there. So I just wanted like a full background for this top bit. So that's going to be it for pulling stickers. Then I watched some Vampire Diaries, I suspect while I was pulling stickers. Um, Vampire Diaries is the TV show I'm watching on my own at the moment. Um, so I think I'll use the third box for that. Which, no, I don't like that. Quarter box? Wait, oh, no, I don't have the quarter box. Oh, I've got barely anything left in this colour. Oh, I've got this lot left. Good, 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 good. Um, for that, and then for the budget check in, I'm gonna use the chunky washi strip. There we go. Happy now. Happy, happy, happy days. There we go. So for watching my vampire diaries, I have this stick with a flanco sticker, and then for budget check in. I think it was actually. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that I was doing my um, um, business finances. And essentially, what we're going to mark in next So I'm going to next mark in that I really couldn't find the mistake. Um, I'm going to just use these that bill sticker for for being unable to find the mistake then i'm going to mark in that it was just a complete dyslexia fail and i messed up two numbers i literally spent such a long time looking for the mistake it was ridiculous but it is what it is then i'm going to use the solid washi strip to mark in watching a film at the bottom of there and then in the gap, we're going to pull in a foiled functional for designing. So for that, I've just got this little character sticker and a design script. Cute. And then for watching the film, I actually think we're probably watching um, Never Have I Ever, which is our TV program, but I've got to watch film, so we're going with it. Then we sat and looked at our wedding photos. We had a video call with some of our closest friends. And last but not least, I'm just gonna mark in chatting if I've got anything at all to mark it with. I do, excellent. Um, in this little thing. And that somehow worked out okay. I made it work. I need to stop stressing in my pre-planning spreads about using half boxes because I just use so few half boxes in memory spreads. It's always what I've got left. Um, it's pretty much all I've got left often, but yeah. Um, so, I'm just pulling together my leftovers, sorry. So let's open it up and have a little look how we look as a finished spread before the pen. Just had a paranoid moment that I wasn't filming, which would summarise how this day is going completely, wouldn't it? So that is the finished spread before the pen. I think I'm okay with... No, I think I'm going to pull in bottom washi overlay. I think I'm going to cut some bottom washi overlays. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think that is what I'm going to do um, to make this. And I'm also going to have a best fits header here. But I will do that before I have the Instagram pictures. So go check out my Instagram channel to look how these look. And whilst you're there, follow, give me a follow if you're not already. Uh, so I'm going to quickly write everything in now.
Sometimes I find writing in my spreads such hard work. I like, I don't really know why. It's just so much like trying to navigate what I'm writing and where I'm writing it. And it just, I get really confused and baffled. And it seems like a lot sometimes. And today was one of those days, but we got there in the end and I'm quite happy with how it eventually looks. <laughs> oh, what am I like? So there we have the finished spread. That foil is just everything to me. It's so shiny and sparkly. I think I am gonna definitely pull in the um, washi overlay because I just think the top and the bottom and the, might put some of the twinkles there on that page in the top, but I will have that done for my um, Instagram video. So yeah, check that out. Um, so that's all I have for this video. Comment like down below if you enjoyed it. And um, remember to use Tilly 10 if you do shop at Scroll Prints Co. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. One sec. This is what's left in the kit. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that kind of jazz on your way out. Bye!